there is a part of this wealth thing that is not about business it's not about buying and selling it's a covenant transaction please listen to me i know what i'm saying there is a part of this finance thing that is mysteriously spiritual it has nothing to do with buying and selling i'm not a dummy i understand the economic system of the world you believe me on that with all humility but there is a side to this thing bar that is not selling a car for profit or building a mall <clears throat> those who become are those who never shame. settle they know that there is always a better and greater version believers in times of adversity remember to anchor your faith in god's unwavering love and promises trust in his divine plan and find strength in his presence may this message serve as a source of encouragement and we affirm your unshakable relationship with him remain blessed as you listen can God give you 10 naira today and say so that 10 naira back and you say your majesty it may be painful but it belongs to you and God will say it was only a test I don't need your money you have qualified for the next level now 50 naira can come and you say Lord even if it is 100 naira that comes it still belongs to you My heart is yours, my mind is yours, my will is yours, you're the king of my life, you're the king of my life. There is a part of this wealth thing that is not about business. It's not about buying and selling. It's a covenant transaction. Please listen to me. I know what I'm saying. There is a part of this finance thing that is mysteriously spiritual. It has nothing to do with buying and selling. I'm not a dummy. I understand the economic system of the world. You believe me on that with all humility. But there is a side to this thing, bar that is not selling a car for profit or building a mall <clears throat> that one that business is done in the spirit is the same thing that happens between the kings of this world and satan too they can start by transacting but there are certain levels of wealth believe me it's not buying and selling that brings you there no it's spirit transactions that ends with a covenant we are going to open you to this world. We are going to open you to the wealth of the cosmos. What are we going to get in return? And you say, in return, I will fund the program of Satan. Stamp it, stamp it with blood. And doors open. Satan took Jesus into an exceeding high mountain and showed him the glories of the world and said, all this I will give to you. He didn't say if you buy a container of palm oil, red oil, and sell it across to ghana or to another nation he said if you will bow to me if jesus quietly bowed to satan you will not know you will just see that dominion has returned to him do you know there are many other people who have been called like that to those chambers in the spirit you want to become famous you want to become this and this spirit to say the condition is bow to me sell your soul and they say what nonsense is my soul and they make the mistake of esau what is what is my soul what is my relationship with jesus no i need money that's all i want what do i need to do kill your child with speed kill your wife with speed kill your husband who else should i kill because this thing i must get it my heart is yours my mind is yours my will is yours you're the king of my life you're the king of my life 
you would think I'm joking. I would not stand on this stage and be talking to the globe and joke and I'm joking. It's true. The same way when God wants to trust you with wealth, genuine wealth, true riches, I tell you it's beyond business. It may flow through the channel of business, but God is going to call you to the chambers of the spirit. He will tell you, I have a program and I'm looking for a treasurer. And your own, listen, yours is going, to, your own will say, Lord, I want you to walk upon my heart so that you can trust me. That with the wealth of the kingdom as it comes it will be beyond pride building an empire no this is beyond just having houses and making a name and becoming ceo of xyz and god will say can i trust you that souls will be won can i trust you that homes will be mended can I trust you that children will eat? Can I trust you that you will lift up my name? And with the frailty of your heart, this is what we call covenant wealth. Covenant wealth is not wealth that happens by you just tithing and giving. No, the covenant there is to understand the purpose that you are bound that I will never forget why. The why is what makes it covenant, not the practice within it understanding the purpose is what makes it covenant so god can tell you i want to trust you with the wealth of nations that i will make you as an individual to become like a nation and you say lord what is the condition the condition is that your heart will remain mine loving me the condition is that every time I make a demand, you will say, yes, sir. The condition is that while the world looks at you in admiration, you will point them back to me and you will say, yes, Lord. Yes to your will, Lord. Yes to your ways. Oh, yes, Lord. We will obey. Yes to your will, Lord. Yes to your ways, oh yes, Lord, we will obey. Yes to your will, Lord. Yes to your ways, oh yes, Lord, we will obey. Yes to your will, Lord. Yes to your ways. 